Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use a basic box stitch while using craft lace. I've always referred to these as boondoggle. I don't know what you guys call it, but I this is boondoggle. You need a lot of craft lace for this. You need pretty long pieces. This is the thicker one and this is the thinner one, so you'll get a really different effect depending on which one you use. There's pattern ones, plain ones, transparent ones. There's also a round kind. You can make it out of that too. And you can buy them on big spools like this. This is a completely different stitch. I'll probably teach it in a different video. These ones are more simple. This is just something I was testing out. You can use one thick piece and two thinner pieces to do the same technique that I'm going to show you. To make a basic boondoggle like this, you'll need two really long pieces of craft lace. And you'll probably want two different colors. You'll want them both to be the same length. I'm just going to demonstrate with some shorter pieces. Alright, so if you're starting with a key ring, you're going to take one piece of your craft lace, put it through once, and put it through again so you have two loops inside this. You want to make sure you pull it far enough so that the ends are even. Then take your other piece of craft lace and put that through the two loops. Also make sure that these two ends line up. Now it's time to start the actual box stitch. So take this purple one and loop that over the green on top of them like that. And then take your other purple one and bring that over towards you and hold that down. Now you're going to deal with the green strings. Take one part of the green, put it over and then under this purple loop. So, then take the green piece of craft lace that you haven't wove through anything yet and put it over one of the purple strings and under this purple loop right here. And pull that through there. There's your first stitch. So here's your starter stitch. Now the rest of this should be really easy because you're just going to repeat the same steps over and over. It may get pretty tedious. It makes for a good car activity or just anywhere where you have to wait for someone or maybe if you're listening to music. Here's the same thing again. The purple one that's far away from you, loop it over and hold it down. The purple one that's closest to you, loop it to the other side away from you and hold that down on the other side so you'll have two purple loops then take your green one on your right side put it over this purple string and under this purple loop and make sure you hold the purples really tight don't let go yet and then take this green one on your left side furthest away from you bring it over this purple one and under this purple loop through the purple so it will be like this. Then it's time to pull those tight. I have made three stitches so far and that's how big it is. It's going to take a while. When you're all done and most of your string is used up, you're just going to tie knots at the end. Alright, I'm going to demonstrate how to start again. Hopefully my other one was clear, but if not, maybe this will help too. So this is without a key ring. And I'm going to make two loops with the green and hold them there. Then I'm going to take the purple one and put it through like that. You'll want one side of the purple to make a loop this way. Oh man, this is so hard to hold. The beginning just really is a pain in the butt. And then you'll want to loop the other purple one over like this. In order to secure it, you're going to have to take the green one that's closest to you and put it over one purple side and then through the far purple loop. So like that and then take the green string that's farther away from you and put it over the purple and then under the purple loop that's closest to you. So like this. Then go ahead and grab your strings and pull them all. So there's your first stitch, your starter stitch. Eventually you'll end up with something like this or probably even longer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was easy to follow. If you have a Twitter, Tumblr, or forum spring, add me on there. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.